Hi guys, it's Allie. Welcome back or to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited to be vlogging today, but before we get into the video, I have a really, really, really cool brand that I want to feature. Um, you guys know that I love Perifoya jewelry. I've worked with them in the past and they sent me another shipment of pieces that I have to share with you guys. So I've been wearing these hoops in the past two vlogs maybe and I probably wasn't supposed to but I couldn't help it and wait until I had to post this video. I needed to get them out of the box. These adorable hoops, I believe they're like 25, 25 mm is like the size online. I will have everything linked below and then this adorable little like curved chain necklace and you guys know that I wear this little diamondy one. I haven't taken it off since I got it in the last shipment. Um, and then the only other piece, only other, the other piece they sent is this adorable paperclip chain bracelet. You guys know I'm like very, very minimal with what I wear and I can genuinely say that I haven't taken this off since I got it and then I upped my small hoops from them to this bigger size because I was so obsessed with them but I wanted them to be a little bit larger. Um, but Perifoya is a brand that I love working with and it is the start of the 2021 Black Friday sale for them. So I wanted to mention it to you guys. Um, you can use the code BF40, Black Friday 40, to take 40% off new arrivals and that includes fine jewelry. Um, and then clearance items are gonna be up to 70% off, which is literally fantastic. And you can take an additional 20% off if you use my code ALLY20 during checkout. Um, I will have all the pieces linked below. I absolutely love wearing them. It's one of my favorite smaller brands to work with and support. I will link all the pieces. I have my discount code, the Black Friday sale code, which I believe is good through December 11th, um, but you should definitely check out Perifoya. I really, really love their pieces, and I'm really excited about this paperclip bracelet. I love that there's no clasp. It literally just one of the chains like unhooks, and you can link it back, but it doesn't look like it comes off, which I really like. So yeah, thank you guys so much, Perry Foya, for working with me on this video. Please check out the items below. I genuinely support them and wear them all the time. Okay, now into the video. Little mugs also the other day. Like how adorable are these? I got them from Nordstrom and they're little purple. Um, flowers. I didn't know about them. It has been shedding them. I got so many messages about the braided rug I had underneath my bed. I've never painted before. Um, but Welcome back to the vlog. I've literally been obsessed with these Verb Energy Bars. Um, this also isn't an ad. They did send me the bars to try for free, but like I'm not making any money by talking about them or anything. This is chocolate chip banana bread. I'm literally eating one a day. It's the easiest like boost if you don't necessarily need another coffee because it has enough, as much caffeine as two espresso shots. Um, and they're really good, like really good. Anyway, I was going to run some errands my one day outside of the city this week, so I'm in Jersey. My mom's in town, actually. Um, did a nice deep clean this morning, that was great. Did some laundry. I need to work out, and I'm craving something green, but this little snack will do for now. Again, highly recommend these, not an ad. Really like them though. I probably said this in my last 
was gonna say last video, but I guess like last time I was in the car. Um, but I'm going to miss driving when I'm in the city again. But an update on that, fingers crossed that we're looking at like a January 1st situation. Um, I've also decided that I'm not gonna go back to Marymount in the spring, which is my old school. I don't know how much I've even really talked about this on my YouTube channel, but I have been doing a lot, a lot of working since I've been back up north. Um, and things are picking up in a really positive way, which is fantastic. I'm making a lot of money. I'm making a lot of really good connections. And I'm just very happy with where I am. And I, I don't want it to be mostly about the, I'm making money so I'm not going back to school. I also am 300% planning on finishing my degree. I just don't necessarily know how or when. Um, sooner rather than later, again, maybe like a January start situation, but I'm only gonna be interested in doing an online program and something that I can really take at my own time. Um, yeah, and that's where we're at. I am genuinely so happy with my day-to-day -day life right now, minus the fact that commuting is very exhausting. That's literally it. So I absolutely want a degree. I love school. I do love learning, and I think that there are a lot of ways that you can be learning outside of a collegiate institution, and I learn every day in my day-to-day -day interactions and in what I'm doing with work right now. Um, and I think I'm on a really positive wave of energy that I feel going back to being a full-time student kind of puts that at a halt. And why would I stop something that isn't broken, if that makes sense? So I've never been tied down to going to college like the right way or the normal way. I don't typically feel like I do anything really the normal way. So it honestly seems more on brand for me that I want to get my degree online and just sort of keep up the work life. but. I feel very good and confident about the decision and I wanted to share it with you guys in case any of you were considering maybe like not going to college the normal way, not going at all, jumping right into the like line, the the work world, the adult world, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like yet, but I'm very happy with where things are leading me to right now. Also, side note, but this has been my favorite lip balm recently, the Summer Fridays balm, and I think it literally froze in my car because I keep it in the little, yeah, it's so not liquidy right now. That's so funny. Um, but this balm is really good. I think it, let's see. It's vegan. I was gonna say where the ingredients are. I don't know, but it's really good. I love a balm that gives you a little gloss, and this is great. But, <laughs> but it literally froze. <laughs> so that's how cold it is in Jersey right now for anyone curious. Cheers. Um, I need some new music to come out, and I think Adele's album comes out soon. And really thank God because I cannot keep, I mean I can keep listening to Champagne Poetry, but like I can't, like I need something else to consume me. So really hoping that someone releases something soon, but let's get going. Also Inquiring Minds, this puffer is H&M. Last season it was 30 bucks, it's great. Okay, hi, I'm home, sorry for that angle. Um, package came in that I wanted to share. That's not a good angle, so we're gonna do it like this. I went to the derm last week, and I don't know if I updated you guys on that, but I did, um, because I'm dealing with eczema, which I've never dealt with in my life, so that's strange. But in working with her, she prescribed me medication for my skin, my like body that actually hasn't come in yet and I'm waiting for it, but also like talked about my, my face and was asking where I was at in terms of my skin because I do take a pill every day for my face, not Accutane or anything um, super crazy, but just something that balances my hormones and helps prevent cystic acne. And she recommended that I get these pads and just really anything from this brand because it's supposed to be really good to like really make you glow. 
So it is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel Pads. And then also, this is the Texture Renewal Serum. It's Advanced Retinol. And it comes like this. I'm very excited to try them. Definitely was not cheap. I will put that out there, but I am invested in really fixing my acne scars, I guess you could call them. So I'm really excited to try these out and I will give you guys an in-depth review once I feel like some progress has been made. But we're home and I need to do a workout. Okay, there's nothing wrong with a late lunch, early dinner situation, slash like just late big lunch, and I'll probably save the rest of this for another point, but I made my classic salad, and then this pasta is just like regular old pasta with um, the butternut squash pumpkin Trader Joe's sauce, and I've been obsessed with it recently. So good. Okay, hi. I had my lovely lunch. Um, and prior to it, I put a little clip in of me um, on ARMY and I did a 25 minute stretch. I originally was gonna do a boot camp and then my legs were feeling sort of tight and I said, you know what, let's just stretch for a little bit. I was in one of those moods that I really wanted to get a workout in but I was cold in the apartment and I just wasn't in the right headspace to do so. So I said, let me stretch, let me eat some food and then reevaluate where I'm at. So I ate, I answered some emails, finished up some things, and then I wanted to clip in and ride on my soul bike, but my shoes are in the city, and I totally forgot that. So I said, how am I gonna get some cardio in? So I'm going to Orange Theory. Eh. And like, I know, people love Orange Theory. I'm not really one of those gals. It's fine, it gets the job done. It's not my ideal type of workout. I don't even, I'm literally not even bashing it. I just paid for a class and am going. But um, definitely not my first choice of a workout, but it will do for the means of I want to run and lift some weights. So I'm excited to go and do so. I'm gonna focus on the road now. Okay, class just ended. Um, not gonna lie, I do feel better. I ran like three miles in there, which was great. Um, lifted heavy, so obviously that is a plus. I just don't love the treadmill. Like I would rather run on a bike, but it's good to always switch it up and do something different. And point being, I committed to it, showed up, and I feel way better now. So yeah, I love a nice nighttime workout. It's weird because some days I'm like, I hate that it's dark at 4.30, and honestly, most of the time I do hate that it's dark this early. But the rare occasion that like you come out of a night workout and it's dark and a little chilly and just run through the holidays and like, I like the fall. I do enjoy a nice crisp night. Watch, it's gonna be two degrees in a week and I'm gonna literally wanna die. But um, it was a good workout, so. Okay, before I leave to go to dinner, I'm gonna give you guys an outfit. Update, these jeans are Zara. I'm obsessed with them. And then I have Gucci loafers on. This is my Frankie Shop boyfriend blazer. And then I have this Aritzia TNA, or maybe it's Babaton, I can check. Top in black, gray, and white. I wear it religiously. It's the best top ever. Makeup, I just have my Dior Addict. Lip maximizer on in pink. Um, I put a little bit of concealer around my chin and then Mascara was PR Dior, maybe, but it's just one that I'm trying out. I don't know how I feel, but I'm going to dinner with my mother. Okay, hi guys. This is probably a terrible angle. I have this little mini fridge in here for my skincare and that's what I am using as time up. <laughs> oh my gosh, cold season is real though. Very crazy with COVID, I feel like people get so hyper aware of not getting sick and then it's like, before you know it, we're gonna do that and hope it doesn't move. Okay, home from dinner, skincare. I just cleansed 
double cleanse my face. Um, first I use my Burst Cleansing Balm. I love that, it's so good, it's pink. And then I use both of these. This is Evan Healy, it's the Tea Tree Gel Cleanser for um, all skin types, and especially oily or like blemished skin. And then the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Um, this is so good when you wanna like really cleanse me face and now i am very excited because i'm gonna try this guy um, and then i'll follow it up with two of my serums and my face roller ice roller which i'm literally obsessed with but let's get into these so it's two steps and in the beginning of doing them you're supposed to do every other night so First part is this is part that's what it looks like. One and two. Here's me doing part one. I wonder if it's gonna burn. I'm honestly kind of intrigued. Okay. Oh, it's got quite the strong smell. cover all grounds here okay yeah I'm definitely feeling a little burn okay I've definitely let this sit um it says like one to two minutes till it's dry my face it doesn't feel that tight but it feels a little bit like drier than normal I just want to go over my nose again because that's where I'm really trying to clear up my chin, some scars. That's why I bought these babies. Okay, feel pretty dry. This is step two. And then at night it says you're supposed to further this step with the serum. And I'm very glad because I also bought the serum. Okay. This is more cooling, whatever it is. Barely any I mean, honestly, I don't even know if there's any sting. It just feels very cooling. Wait, I got a little bit on my nose. So maybe it's in the more sensitive areas is where it like. Now it says to further enhance, you follow with a serum and a moisturizer. Um, and you're only supposed to do it when you begin every other day. So tonight's Tuesday. So I will do this again Thursday night. I'm gonna follow it up with this serum. It's the Advanced Retinol and Fru like Texture Renewing Serum. And then I'm gonna use my ice roller. How to use eight to 10 drops on dry skin. Wow, I feel like I'm getting a facial and a bottle, which is actually funny because that's exactly what I told my dermatologist I wanted my skin to feel like. Um, moisturizer is it really does depend on the night, but I've been liking this um, cuddly one, and then obviously this is just old faithful. I think I'm gonna do a couple of both tonight and really give my skin the works. But first up is these. I think that was enough. Doesn't necessarily have a scent, but. Okay, it's a little sticky. My face is definitely a little red. We shall see. I don't know if I want to store this guy in the fridge. Maybe I'll move some things around. This is the best thing I ever bought. I would literally tell anyone to get one of these. Male, female, anyone. They just feel so good. I'm sure that sound is probably not super appealing. That and now I'm gonna heavily moisturize because this is most likely gonna peel everything off my face. So both, a little bit of each moisturizer. You know it's a night cream when there's like this much of a white kind of stuff. Um, but I've loved the Caudalie products for a long time. I used to use their Beauty Elixir. I think I honestly was in like 
the very beginning of high school when I found a bottle of that um, at Blue Mercury. It was like a little sample that I could afford <laughs> and I bought it. But it was really, really great. I remember it even from years ago. So I like this moisturizer a lot, that's my point. It's the cream nuit glycolic, brightening glycolic night cream. And now I feel very moisturized, very alive. So to bed I now go. And I have a very long day tomorrow. So I'm assuming you will, guys will probably see me in this exact location at 5.30 in the morning tomorrow. So until then, good night. Let's get it. It's 6.10 right now and I just got to the train. I really hope that this... Good morning. <laughs> I really hope it gets warmer today. It's literally 32 degrees. All right guys, my shift has begun. Class just went in and everyone is getting to work, so catch y'all in a few hours. <laughs> First break of the day isn't even really a break, but I'm going to get some breakfast from Honey Brain's Power Oatmeal. Should we make a music video? Yes. Uh, well, that was a good song for it too. Arden, we're making a music video. <laughs> oh my God, what? <laughs> Good day. I just got my nails done. You can't even really see the color, but it's like a dark-ish purple. And now I'm heading to Midtown East because I have to go try something on. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna come back downtown and shoot for the show. I'm quite literally never in Midtown ever, so this is very strange. I'm on the east side, so it's not nearly as tragic but I'm going to Cartier. That is where I'm walking to. Just down the road. I would like to be aware of my sizes for a few things. So I had a free moment and I figured I'd get it over with. So that's where we're going. This is the manicure. So fun. And now I'm at Magnolia and do I want a latte? Yes. late because getting downtown took forever but I literally inhaled kava for lunch which is my new obsession and now I'm running to the park because we have a shoot yes hi back with my favorite oh, it's on <laughs> I'm not a youtuber <laughs> hi we're about to shoot in the park gotta go do the exciting thing exciting stuff but where's my microphone to say hello oh yeah show us the mic we don't know where it is oh it's over there it's right here hi. Here he is. Showtime. Showtime. <laughs> Back in the office. But yeah, I kind of want to be a vlogger now. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, this lighting is absolutely not it. But I had a day. Double that army. It was great. Immediately got the train home and then ate leftovers in my fridge. I'm going to bed 
to wake up tomorrow and go to work. And I am going to end this vlog off here because I'm going to record for the weekend. So I just wanted to do a quick little like getting back into swing of things on here. So I'm glad I did so. Also, this sweatshirt I'm wearing right now is my grandfather's from high school. So I love wearing it at night. Um, I used the Dr. Dennis Gross pads again. And then I sort of like, not picked, but like extracted some things from my face. So I'm a little bit red right now, but I guarantee in the morning I'm gonna look quite glowy. But on that note, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I can't believe the holidays are approaching and happening. Life in New York has been crazy and wonderful. Um, very grateful. So that's about it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.